so it's uh, crazy to me that um, one silhouette can have uh, so many different versions and it's a, a weird one because uh, I know like uh, there's sort of constant refinement and constant adjustment from brands especially like uh, with someone like Jordan brand to try and get the sneaker to the most sort of perfect state to where it was how it was originally released and I, I suppose when I you know when, when I was younger I did have a, an original pair of uh, 1989 Jordan 4s and what I will say I don't remember them fitting quite so uncomfortable um, obviously I was a kid back then so they did you know for me it was like I just really really enjoyed wearing them I never had like an issue wearing them uh, and I'm not sure you know how much difference there are between the comfort level on the, the previous ones to ones compared to now but uh, as an adult and when I first got these for example I was really pleased with them because it was a throwback to you know sort of my childhood and having a pair of these and really sort of liking them as a kid you know I was instantly drawn to them and uh, then to sort of be told that it's not the, the true sort of model and not the true liking to you know in terms of the shape and the fit and then it kind of sort of led me on to basically grabbing a pair of these because they were obviously hyped at the time uh, which is the uh, Jordan 4 SBs and they they were hyped and you know they were told that they're really comfortable and the, the leather as you can sort of see is really soft and probably the best one in, in my opinion out of the, the four and the, the brad sort of comes close but uh you kind of look at this pair and you kind of think okay this is a you know it, sh it should be really nice on foot and it is really nice on foot but obviously it's got the, the four foot area unit missing on it uh to create that extra bit of space and i've kind of gone off over this before but the padding on this is, is really sort of overkill for me so that's what i don't like about it that's my only issue with this because when you put it on your feet it looks really big and in all honesty this i went half size up which i normally do with jordan fours and with this particular pair i probably could have went true to size and it would have been all right but for me to sort of basically pay the the resale price for a half a size smaller is probably not worth it uh but you know it's one of those ones where i'd be sort of maybe happy to sort of double up on it because it is a, a cool pair but saying that there is a, another pair coming out sort of next year in, in uh, 2025 and basically then i kind of ended up buying these in february i think it was or march time and it's the bread reimagines and i actually really 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 big fan of this model uh this particular one because of the fact that it's uh it is a new buck and i kind of like it that it's leather obviously i would like to have the og version as well with the the new buck but i'm happy to have this and the leather quality on this one is really nice as well i'm not sure you know it's, it feels like a different type of leather that's used on this compared to the SBs. Uh, the SBs just feel sort of softer and you know a bit more has a bit more give to it and and but both are very flexible whilst this is more of a sort of pebbled slightly sort of pebbled leather with but still feels sort of soft and not the same as the uh, SBs but still really nice and really comfortable and with this one you know it's one of those ones where I don't have an issue on foot. Uh, I did go half size up and I'm not true to size but I didn't have any kind of problems wearing it so uh, and usually I have like with all sort of Jordan 4s like an issue here where it just sort of pinches on the side and it's mainly because of the toe box going like that but I think because of this one being a sort of more flexible leather you don't feel it as much and the pressure there isn't as bad and then you kind of move on to the Miller 2 Blues which is a, a bit of a, a Marmite sneaker I suppose because some people don't like the colorway and basically being this sort of off-white color and has this sort of grayish bluish tint to it uh, I don't really mind it I think it's nice it just depends on what light you see and most of the time when you see it it's actually more sort of on the creamy side anyway so I'm, I'm kind of happy with that and uh, basically on the sort of reflection sometimes it does look a bit blue and uh, obviously some people aren't happy with the shade of blue but if this is the OEG version then you know for me I'm kind of more about this, the purest side of it and never had these as a kid so this is a nice pair to have uh, and what I say about this pair which I have done a review on is the leather quality is probably the same as like a a Jordan 4 Fire Red and maybe slightly better uh, now that I'm feeling both of them but uh, still not not the greatest and I imagine same with the Fire Reds it'll probably crease quite a bit uh, I haven't worn mine yet uh, with this particular one even though I went half size up I still experienced the, the pinky toe pain so comparing like all four uh, I kind of sort of see the you can kind of sort of see the differences pretty straight away so so with the 
SB4s, I think, personally, I think the toe box on the SBs is actually wider, uh, in my opinion. And basically, when you see it, it kind of sort of slopes, slopes around a lot more on the all three of the bread reimagines, fire reds, and the military brews. They kind of go inwards uh, there, uh, especially on your sort of pinky toe area. Whilst this has just a bit more space, in my opinion. When you kind of sort of compare them side by side, you can kind of see that they're giving it slightly more extra room there. Uh, that's what I think anyway, from what I can sort of see from the from the camera angles. And basically, you might be able to sort of see that it just has a slightly sort of wider uh, aesthetic to it. So even if you sort of overlay them on top, you might even be able to sort of see it there as well. It's not that much of a difference, but it's a slight difference. And you can see that and this one feels more rounded, especially around this this area here. It just looks a lot more rounded to me. And even granted to have worn these SBs a few times, but that still wouldn't cause an issue. Because the same thing you can probably see with, even though these are black, they probably show that a bit more, but uh, basically you can see like the toe box is slightly wider on this. And that's why I don't experience uh, those issues. And also because of the uh, air unit missing in the forefoot, you have so much space on this that, that you don't feel any experience and pain. And that's why, I you know, for me, I should have went true to size on these. And basically, again, with the because I said with the military blues that they would be uh, true to the OGs and then also taking uh, a lot of cues from the SBs. And I think they have done in some respects, but not in others. I think the um, inner lining, for example, is a lot more still sort of not a lot, a lot more, but still sort of thicker on the SBs. And that's granted because this is supposed to be more of a sort of skateboarding adaptation, whilst this is probably more true to you know how Jordan 4s normally are so it has slightly thicker uh, probably still more similar to the bread room agents and then you can also sort of see the height of the sneakers this one the Jordan 4 fire red is like the smallest of the bunch and you can probably see that um, maybe if I do that uh, just side by side they're all the same size so you can sort of see slightly like the bread has the upper hand on that and you know slightly taller and then comparing because this is supposed to be now like the SB shape and basically if you compare them they're pretty much the same so I'm not sure that they are in my opinion because they stated on the sneakers app that they were well on their sneakers live that they that they were going to be updated to the Jordan 4 but in my opinion they're not, not they're probably more similar to the breads than they are to the SBs and also the I think the only thing that's probably similar to the SBs is the actual toe box in terms of its shape and that seems to me kind of what the what's similar to the SB4s and compared to the breads I just feel like there's a bit more you know uh, the toe box just feels a bit more sort of rounded and sort of filled out versus the breads so you can maybe see that I don't know it's, it's very sort of minute I'm picking up on minute points here but to me it just feels like uh, the toe box is slightly bigger on this. It's all minor, minor stuff, but all those things do make a difference. And if you compare, you know, the military blues with the Jordan 4s, you can probably see this is, even though it's a darker color, it's still sort of slightly bigger in size. And you can see it from that perspective as well. So whilst this shows a lot more of the, this upper toe box area here. So, you know, it kind of de depends really. And obviously, I do like the wings on this because they're really soft and you can sort of see the rubberized softness of that where it kind of just sort of springs back and has a lot of uh, springiness to it. Whilst with all of these, they're exactly the same, you know, so there's not much difference there. So all in all, I think uh, what I would prefer is all of them to have the consistency of the SBs but that seems to not be happening. I think this is taking some cues from the SB in terms of its height, but I think they're more similar to the breads at the moment to me. And basically I feel like the breads and the military fours is probably the shapes that are basically gonna be what Jordan brand are gonna concentrate on moving forward. So uh, whilst this one's just pretty much out of the window and gonna be sort of confined to some of the releases that are just coming up, um, in the next sort of, I suppose, six to 12 months. And I think it, they'll also then sort of focus on producing uh, the trainers more to these types of shapes. And 
but obviously I would like a just slightly more width on on here and that's my only sort of issue really and I don't mind them that, that they wouldn't be true to the OG and if they're sort of more like this where they've got that extra bit of space then I'm all for it just for extra comfort but uh, I mean that's the only downfall with me with wearing Jordans obviously they're a bit heavy but at the same time it's more just this pinky toe area where I just have so much trouble so but yeah that's uh, hopefully covers that and sort of gives you a bit of insight into you know the Jordan 4s and how they sort of progressed over the years really.